CS2 fully released yesterday and a lot of people, myself included, are disappointed that there isn't much new content as Valve promised that the final version of CS2 would have a lot of content that wasn't in the beta. So in this video I'll go over everything we know is coming to CS2 that was either semi-announced or leaked but isn't in the game yet. So let's start this with Danger Zone. I think it's clear that Danger Zone is coming back, it wasn't super popular in CSGO because it lacked some things but everyone agrees that it was a game mode with lots of potential and there was actually a nice community around it. The matter of fact is that we have already gotten some leaks for Danger Zone including some new items such as the tripwire grenade, this weird trap thing and the new crate which include the following weapons. So I think it's only natural that Danger Zone eventually comes back. This video was sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a CSGO trading platform where you can trade your old rusty CSGO skins for some new shiny ones in just a few seconds. The way it works is pretty simple, you select the skins you want to trade and you select the ones you want to get. You click trade and it's done. If you use my code OSNI on the website you get a bonus of up to $5 for absolutely free when you trade on the website and you also get a 35% bonus when buying balance. On top of that they have daily, weekly and monthly giveaways in the freebies page. The link to the website is in the description and thank you Skins Monkey for sponsoring this video. New maps. Only a few maps were added to CS2 so far but we know that other maps are coming. Train and Cobblestone have already been leaked and on top of that maps like Baggage and Shoots have already been shown in trailers and are even available in the CS2 Steam store, they are just not in game. Also a nice detail in the first CS2 release notes is that they wrote various bug fixes and tweaks for all shipped maps, which seems like a clear indication that there are more finished maps that just haven't been released yet. A new case. I think it's clear that a new case will come out sometime soon, new skins and new knives have already been leaked in CS2 and Valve would never ever miss the opportunity to make some big money with a brand new case. There is also a small leak of a new case coming to CS2 which was found in the game files. New knives. Two knives have already been leaked which are the twin blade knife and the kukri knife. We have no information about the twin blade knife apart from this image but we know how the kukri knife looks in game as well as its animation so I think it's a matter of time until it is actually added to CS2 and in my opinion this is going to be the next time to come to the game and it will probably come in a new case or a new operation which leads us to a new operation. It's been two years since we got a new operations and operations are a big part of Counter Strike so I think it seems like a matter of time until we actually get one. It's very possible that the leaks we've seen on the new case and the new knives are all part of the new operation. There are also some interesting items leaked which could also be part of the operation such as these pet capsules or some new pins. New game modes. Not all game modes from CSGO are actually available in CS2, apart from Danger Zone we didn't get Arms Race, we didn't get Flying Scoutsman or Demolition and considering that the maps in these uh, game modes like Baggage and Shoots will be coming it only means that these game modes will come back and there is also a big chance that we get brand new game modes just like Surf which has already been leaked so I think that brand new game modes will be happening and the old ones will be coming back. New animations. This isn't based on any leaks or information but it's just my personal opinion. I expect a new case opening and new trade up animations as they seem to be untouched from the CSGO version, especially trade ups as they currently have no animation. Overall CS2 right now has a lot less content than CSGO had and they didn't even bother to do some stuff like remove the party sticker cell. They also promised that the final version would have a lot of content that isn't in the beta so I think that it's pretty obvious there's a lot of new stuff coming. So this is all the content that we know is coming to CS2 sometime in the future but there's probably gonna be a lot of new content that we have no idea about and we never heard of it so all we have to do is wait and see what Valve does and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more CS2 videos.